Hey guys, okay, so welcome back to another episode of Mascara Monday. Um, we have got today the LA Colors Dramata Lash Volume Mascara. Okay, so this is was one of those um, impulse purchase, like in the impulse purchase section of Dollar General. Um, uh, LA Colors has <clears throat> got quite a few little items that you can pick up for like a dollar or two dollars and like a little display so I was just walking by what was I picking up I can't remember I was getting something and I was like "Ooh, we're gonna try that one out for mascara Monday okay so it was a dollar I believe I don't think it was two dollars but I can't remember so sorry about that let's get to it oh why do they have to do that I don't know whose eyelashes that is ever gonna work for okay well we'll just get to it all right can you guys see hope you guys can see Okay, and already like a ton of clumps. Are these kind of videos like a waste of time for you? Like, I don't know. Oh, well, it's, it's actually not doing too bad. Okay, it's not doing too bad. A very natural, oh, I've got like creases going on my eyelids anyway. Really natural looking makeup today. So this would work perfectly for that. They're very long. Not very volume volumized. Oh, see what just happened there? Giant clump. Oh, but it came right off. Okay, so I feel like if you want a really, really, I'm just looking, seeing how it looks like on camera. Um, if you want a really, really natural mascara, um, I think, I don't think this one is bad. Um, I actually like it better than the, I've got it right here. The in-studio, I put everything back in the package, by the way. The in-studio one that was, I can't remember how much, um, pretty similar price, so this might be a little bit cheaper, I can't remember. Um, I, yeah, so I actually like this better. It might just be the length of the brush. The small brush was a little bit too um, difficult to handle. It, that seems silly, but it's just the way it is. Um, this one is kind of big though, so I am kind of feeling like I might make a mess of it. But I do like the brush better than that um, in-studio one. So yeah, if you are looking for a very natural for yourself, or maybe if you have a young daughter that's just going to get started with makeup and you don't want her to be overwhelmed with all this Instagram type makeup, if you want your daughter to have that, by all means, that's your business. But if you don't, this one might work out. So what I'm gonna do now for the other eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and re-dip, make sure the brush is coated. Um, the formula seems kind of thick and sticky. Um, so we coated it up and I'm going to remove a lot of the excess product from the brush. Okay, so we got it all nice and cleaned off, real cleaned off. Um, I, I that's how my preferred method of applying mascara. Obviously, I did this one without doing that, so we have both. If you guys don't want to do that. Very natural. Very natural, but still giving you a little bit of something. It's not curly. My lashes are straight, they're, and they're, they point down. They do, they are perfectly placed for what eyelashes were made for, which is preventing dust particles and um, foreign bodies and objects from getting in your eye. Small ones, anyway. They're like a little filter. And mine are shaped and pointed in the exact direction that is perfect for that. It's not good for... They're not made, they're not really designed for makeup application and for the most flattering, you know, what am I trying to say? The most uh, flattering for beauty purposes, beauty purposes, um, but for what they were designed for, they, they are the perfect shape. So, and I'm saying that to say that this is not providing them a lot of lift or push up or curl. But that's pretty tall order for my lashes. Even if I curl them with an eyelash curler, 
within five minutes, they're pointing either straight out or down. So that's just the way of the world for me. So, um, okay, so I don't think this is the worst mascara I've ever tried, but um, it is pretty natural. Yeah, you guys can see, I hope. Um, worth a shot, maybe, if you're just looking for something that's really, really natural. I think I've said that 55 times, so we'll be done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe. I will, of course, wear this for the rest of the day and update you guys. I've been having a lot, just, just real quick, I've been having a lot of mascaras to smudge on me on my lower lash line. I think it's because the older I get, like I smile like a lot and I laugh a lot and I squint a lot because my eyes are really sensitive to light. Um, so even in, on cloudy days like today, but um, it, I'm having a lot of smudging. So I'm probably gonna, I'll have to figure out like the best waterproof mascara that I can find because um, some like I have this one that's waterproof, the Koki one, but it's not like, or, or it's, it still smudges, I should say. So it's not smudge proof. It might be waterproof, but it's not smudge proof. It still smudges on me. So, um, why was I talking about that? Oh, I will uh, let you guys know if this does that. But even if it does, it might just be my eye shape is smudgy because, and, and for separate reasons, then this is just a bad mascara. See what I'm saying? Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.